gang, it's your boy, Amassful27. I've woken up this morning and I've just, <laughs> just had to share this with you all because we've had another announcement, another event starting, I think, on the 16th of November to celebrate Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which means that everybody is going to get our regional, potentially, in seven club of two eggs all around the world. Right. We're going to delve into the details early in the morning. I'm going to get in the car and we're going to talk through this event and share with you all the details and some of my tips about how to play an event after the event that's just about to start with Lugia. You can't make it up with this game. I'll see you inside in a minute. Right, <laughs> we're back. We're inside now. It's warming up a little bit. It's cold again at the moment here on planet Earth, certainly here in the United Kingdom. Right, so let's fire the in-game announcement, which came out late last night, but I, I had a little read of it all, and I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to record you guys an amazing little bit of content in the morning on my way into work. Yeah, that's commitment, isn't it? So, <laughs> experience a limited time event celebrating Sinnoh region in Pokemon Go. So basically, this is to celebrate the release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which we spoke about when I was outside. And this can be on November the 19th. So I think I said the 16th earlier. Getting my days wrong a little bit too early for me at the moment. So Pokemon Origins is coming to the Sinnoh region will be appearing more often in Pokemon Go. And we'll also get Turtwick, Chimchar, Piplup, Wayne Dawn, or Lucas's hat. Well, actually, they'll be wearing both of them. And there'll also be a collection challenge. So let's jump straight into the blog because let's go into the actual detail. Because that is what we all want to go through and see what there is. Because we're going to have some tips for this event because there is potentially something quite amazing in this one. Oh, you can't beat an early coffee. My throat's a little bit sore today. Can't beat a bit of coffee. So basically what we've said is we're going to see Sinnoh Region Pokemon appearing more often in Pokemon Go. Turk with Chimchon and Piplup are going to be wearing the Sinnoh-inspired hats and appearing in the wilds. And after items will be available, inspiring those people to look like their favourite Pokemon characters, whatever, in the shop. We know how that works. So... The event bonuses, and these are the big ones, so starting on Tuesday, just, just right November the 16th, so that's when the event starts, sorry, the release of the games is on the 19th. So Tuesday, November the 16th at 10am to Sunday, November the 21st at 8pm, we've got some event bonuses, and these are half incubator distance and one third super incubator distance, so there is some real savings to be had there on eggs. Costume Pokemon are going to be there, we like costume Pokemon, Turtwig wearing Lucas's hat, as will be Chimchar and Piplup, and they can all potentially be shiny. Daunt as well, Turtwig, Chimcha and Piplup, and they can all be shiny as well, so I can repeat myself there. So we've got a collection challenge, in celebration, there'll be a costume challenge and we're Pokemon making a debut. We don't know what that looks like yet, but we do know you'll be earning 1,000 XP, 3,000 starters and encounter with Frostlass for completing that collection challenge, which is pretty cool. A Frostlass would be pretty good with a decent base stat, you know, we might get lucky there. New have two items, stickers and bundles. Yes, we talked about that earlier. So there'll be costumes of Turtwig, Chimchar and Piplup. Of course there'll be. Of course there'll be. There'll also be Sinnoh hats, sets, pants, shoes, backpacks, everything that you could imagine if you could want to spend your hard-earned poker coins on. And for me personally, my favourite bit, there will also be stickers. Yes, so there'll be a couple of boxes. An event box, one time exchange for 20 poke balls and one Sino stone. And a great box of 300 poker coins. And that gives you three super incubators and two incubators. And one learn module. You can only be exchanged once. An update to the game, I believe, from the original announcement. So, part one, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So this is from Tuesday the 16th to November the 18th, which is the Thursday. And that is 10 a.m. through to 10 a.m. The first half of this event begins with homage to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Turret Chimchon Piplet wearing red Sino hats will be appearing in the wild. And that trio will be wearing Sino hats. We'll be available in the field research encounters as well. You might be lucky you might encounter them in their shiny form. We've said that already. There will be other wild encounters, though, for this part of it. Seal, Murkrow, Puchena, Aaron, and the three of them. Bidoof, Cricketop, Baneri, and the odd one out, Stunky, who can't be shiny. It's come to the party as the unpopular option there. But all the others can be shiny. If you're lucky, you might encounter the following. Scyther, Lavatar, Burmy in its plant cloak. And Bruzel, 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 I can never pronounce that one right, all can be shiny. I need that one. I also need Burmy as well. I need all Burmy. So there's some good options in there. Raids. Hmm. One star raids, not 100% sure on this. You've got Kranos, Drifloon, Bronzer, and Gibble. All of them could be shiny at Philosophy. We'll have a go. But three star raids, Tyranitar, Lutbunny, Drapion, 
Toxic Croak, Gallade, and in five star raids, Cresselia comes back, and it can obviously be shiny. Mega Raids will have Mega Look Bunny, it can be shiny as well. Cresselia will also know the attack grass knot. Right, in the eggs, if this is where it gets very exciting, this is where my top tip is going to be for this event. That is egg hatching and take advantage of those reduced distances because we've got the smallest egg pool for an event that's been known for a very long time, if ever before. And in these seven kilometer eggs, you can get Badu, Bonzi, Happiny, Mom Junior and Riolu. Just five of them, all of them with the same rarity tier level. All of them can be shiny. And our regional has only gone worldwide. Mom Junior is gonna go worldwide. Now, what does this mean for future regionals? Nobody knows, or certainly ones that haven't been released beforehand. But my Junior, and I know there's been events with air catching, but there's been bigger pools of Pokemon for those ones. Mime Junior's one of five, and it could be shiny. That's epic. That is very, very epic. Phil Research Task Encounters will give you opportunities to encounter Bagon, Turtwig, Chimchon, Piplet, Wayne, Dawn's Hats, Burmy and its Sandy Cloak, and Burmy and its Trash Cloak. If you're, in, if you're very lucky, you might encounter Shieldon, which can obviously be shiny. Part two, Shiny Pearl. First thing, November the 18th to November the 21st, which is a Sunday. This is 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on the Sunday. The second half is featured. Oh, it's featuring Pearl. So with Jim John Pippler will be wearing white Sinnoh hats, appearing in the wild. And they'll also, the same tree will also be wearing red hats. Uh, available as field research encounters. I think that might be something to do with the collection challenge, potentially. The Wild Encounters will be Pinsa, Mistrevis, Houndor, Sphil, and the Turtwig, Chimchot, Piplup, Badoof, Cricketop, Veneri, and Glamiao, and the unlucky one that week. There's always one, Sphil. Should have been shiny already. Right, and Breeze, if you're lucky, you might encounter Slowpoke, back on Breezel again, and Burmian and Santa Cloak, all could be shiny eligible again. Raids, one star, Shieldon, Drifling, Bronzer, in the one star, all shiny. Three star, Salamant, Slot Buddy, Drapion, Toxic Quirk, and Gallade, and five star, still Cresselia, and still make a lot of in the, in the Mega Raids. Okay, um, there are some tips on the raids. Players, I think go a bit, little bit like, um, something that Milo would say. If you're a lower level player, there are some particularly good potential um, free start tier raids in there and I always recommend maybe go for someone like Salamance. Salamance is a good budget option if you look for something which is strong potentially to power up for some of your raid gangs. Uh, Galate is useful as well. Seven kilometer eggs will stay Badu, Bonzi, Happy, Mom Junior and Riolu for that second part of the week. As we're, and the field research will all have the red hat as I said earlier with Lucas's hat. Burmy Plant Cloak or Burmy Trash could also be shiny. If you're lucky, you might encounter Larvator or Kranados. Kranados is sure to do the little switch on this mini event. So yeah, that is it. That is the event. That is what we've got looking forward to from the 16th of November. The events come thick and fast. The news certainly drops quickly. Let me know what you think about what you're most excited for in this event. I am Masterful27. Thank you for checking out this news vlog in the morning. Please do not forget to smash a big thumbs up. That makes me feel really good to show that you enjoy the content that I create. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That'd be most appreciated. And members of the Masterful Gang, you all, you are all extremely awesome. Right, well, let's get back to the real world now. I'm only joking. We've got that to look forward to. We need to get some shiny electric Pokemon. That's basically what we need. Shiny electric Pokemon are certainly on the menu. I've struck out so far on this event. Let's do some, well, Blitzel is the only one that's really worth checking here. Blitzel is certainly one that, that, that I would like. Let's do a couple of Magnemite checks, and there's a Whisper up there, and then we're going to wrap this one up for good. Oh, Rosie, <laughs> Rosie Medeiros, 10k XP. Really enjoying this increased XP and um, speed of getting it as on the friendship, so that's really cool. But yeah, Lugia starts today as I record this, and that is a wrap. See you soon. Thank you.